What's up everybody, this is Trish and we are back to our usual fish play schedule. In our last video we announced that fish play was going to um, be put on hold for a month because I was going on holidays, but don't worry, we're back. Um, if this is your first time watching fish play, well, in this series we play a few community made maps and we talk about them a little bit. We also include footage from our community play dates. This week it's footage from our PS4 community. I wanted to include Chris footages and my footage, but sadly all of what I recorded got corrupted. So this is only Chris's footage, but he's better at this than me, so that's probably better. And now let's jump straight to the maps. First we have Billa by Savatry. This creator is always surprising us with really good and well designed maps um, so we're kind of used to featuring the like his or her maps this map fixes a few of our themes and yet it still has a nice look and feel um, it has a lot of different rooms like there's this sort of closed area like you can see it now and all of these areas um, that and a few more are connected by a sort of middle like arena arena in the middle and it's a good map that you let to explore um there's a, a lot of rooms and alleys that you should explore because you can get stuff from there okay so as you can see here there's also a secret well not so much of a secret right now but yeah you can double jump with the shotgun or with some other some other guns and well that allows you to get to this area where there are two really good weapons you have a turret and you have a rocket launcher which will give you an advantage so you should try to get them um, also if you didn't know in these videos we try to show you like those um, secrets or mysteries and like some maps if we notice them we will probably feature them so that's a good way of learning how to like be one step ahead your enemies um, but anyway uh, this what we what I what I like about this map is that all of these um, areas that are inside are just as good as the outside arena. Like you can actually fight and corner your enemies, like you can see here. Um, you can just discover places, and they are, it's a pretty good map in that sense because both inside and outside are pretty good areas, and obviously very well designed, there's a lot of thought going into this map. Now we have the Pit by Smokey Ronnie. This map might not look too big, but it actually is. Like the name says, it's basically a pit, and to be more specific, it's a pit of acid. Yep, if you fall you're probably gonna die because there's no way to get out. Well, there is no way to get out, but I couldn't get out when I fall, fell into it. But yeah, um, this map um, is basically square with three different levels, um, like the surface, a middle level, and the bottom of the pit. They are all joined by two bridges that interconnect in the middle. And the way you go from one level to another one is either through teleporters, stairs or jump pads. Um, the weapons and the power-ups are spread all through all the map. You ma you find um, weapons in every level and sometimes on the borders as well. So you might have to explore to get that weapon that you really want. Um, here Chris is playing with a rocket launcher and well he's pretty good at this so you can you get different picks that's really good at we love maps that include different varieties of weapons. Um, they are actually quite they're usually quite fun. This is Caution by Kristani2244. This co-op map is quite impressive and like you will see that well, the design like on the outside where you begin, it's pretty good. It actually makes you feel like a jungle, like with secret passages and everything. So that's a good way to start. And 
yeah, you can see, you can get like, if you explore it a bit, there are like secret places where you can get. And right away, there's a boss, like right at the beginning. And I try, like the first time that I tried this map, I tried to defeat the T-Rex, but this time I just decided to avoid it. So I escaped. But like around the corner from that uh, dino that I thought that I had avoided, there are more dinos. And there are a lot of traps in this map. That's why it's a good temple map, because you know all of those temple movies like Vienna Jones and everything that have a lot of traps? This map is just the same. You have to jump around and face a lot of enemies. And there are traps that you have to deactivate or just simply avoid. And well, there are, there's a nice variety of enemies that I'm surprised that actually work. Like it's not just dinos, but like these guys, which are really annoying. It takes a long time to defeat. Um, but then I got the key, so that's that's the point. Um, well, you have uh, dinos themselves; they're quite fast. So I died a few times, or like had to hide from them. Otherwise, I would have just died like here I just decided to leave you know that's another good thing about this map it allows you to choose like you can fight or you can flight and then you have like nazis here as well and I fell and I fell down here this hole and but still um that was too bad because fight that enemy and got some weapons ammo like which are uh, things that I needed so yeah this map it's kind of hard to navigate what that's what makes it a good temple map and honestly we would love to see like a campaign or anything coming from this map because it's pretty good and you can tell that the person knows what they're doing and that they know our tools pretty well so that's a good map and now we have Corrupted Ford by Wixmiza. Um, this castle map is quite interesting when you get to explore it. One of the small issues that it has is that it only has one spawn point, but that can be seen as an, as an issue or as an opportunity to just fight everyone. Like everyone is right beside you so you can try to punch them to death or use a gun or even like a knife. So we started killing each other on this town point. But once we got out of that area, you found like all the secret places and it's actually quite a big castle. It doesn't look like but yeah, you can see like this area that's like a sort of underground area. And you can see like the outside from like the windows and you can see that it's a big castle. And so the, this whole um, place, once you got out of this, like we were just kind of fighting each other at this spot. But once you got out, then you have this area, which has a key, like so that's a secret. And that's another secret area. <laughs> I am not showing you how to get there, but we're showing you that it's there. And that's another one, like Chris here trapped himself, but then he managed to get out and fight some of the people that kinda, some of them like killed him, some of them he defeated, so that's pretty good. And finally we have Derelict or Derelict I'm not sure by Ashigdra. This map is a sort of classic free for all team map which mixes a lot of our team, a lot of our themes and different weapons in this kind of contained area. What we like about this map is that even if it's like small, it's not too big and um, and it's contained so you can't get out of where you are, the map is still sort of wide open so um, instead of like being inside a castle, it's a temple, um, just get like these two platforms that are connected by stairs and bridges and you can just fight everyone like on the bottom you can find them on the bottom as well but mostly we do we're just fighting each other like on the bottom of like on the floor ground floor if you want to call it and 
Yeah, so this map doesn't have many one-hit KO weapons. It offers you a couple, but there are not as many. Like you have the chainsaw and you have this um, weapon in the middle that is pretty good as well. Or like the skulls can be yeah. But mostly it's just normal weapons. So that makes it fun because it makes you like take time to kill someone that you have to chase them and they can try to attack you while they're running away and everything like here yeah. avoiding the hits and still trying to keep them that's I, I find it quite fun I think that a lot of us do so you can but yeah so you can explore a little bit to get different weapons most of them are just, uh, like same power but you get also like these weapons to make you dizzy and things that just can help you fighting all those and I think that makes it a quite fun map And that's it, thanks for watching. We hope that you guys like these videos and the maps that we have been trying. Um, as we said at the beginning, we are back to our normal schedule, which is gonna be like closer to the weekend this time, but still like one video a week, are we gonna try that? Um, remember to send us your favorite maps, and if you have any kind of like playthrough video or like a let's play video that you want to share with us just let us know we want to share your videos we love how invested the community is so yeah just let us know and we'll try to like feature them so see you next week with more maps bye